How, how did Saturday's game come about, Antrim versus Tipperary? Uh, like who were the main players in setting it up for? Well, I mean, I have a great committee. It's probably one of the best committees that uh, I have had the pleasure of chairing. And we delegate different jobs about, and people go and do it. And you'll, you'll meet and you'll see a lot of them running around the pits even this morning doing work. And we were looking at opening the pitch, and when uh, Patterson's completed the, the, the pitch, I spoke to Paul Patterson about it, and it was going to be ready for playing about last September. Now the leagues in Antrim would have been coming to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, is there much point in this? Or would we be better letting this sit for another lot of months and let it bed in properly? And he said, well, like, if I was in your position, I would do what you're saying. Mm. So I said to the committee, look, the point has gone out and sort of I tried to open this at the time when the official opening was open pitch and all. I said that could come at a later date. And, I mean, I also know that in the past, through other clubs opening their pitches, they had gone out and spent a fortune on inviting maybe teams from the south, maybe the like of Waxford, Kilkenny mm -hmm. or whatever, up here, and hosting them for the weekend. And, I mean, we had spent enough money in this place, and I didn't think that, you know, the occasion uh, that we'd spent that type of money would be really value for money, mm -hmm. considering that like, we're, we've uh, spent quite a bit of it. So I suggest that one night here at a committee meeting, could we not approach the, com the current day? Because the national leagues would be starting. And I said, if we approach the current day and maybe got a county match, you know, the county now are playing like up at Glen Avey and places like mm -hmm. that. And I mean, obviously, Corrigan Park. And I said, we might just get a county game, and that could be the official opening, and it doesn't cost us anything. So we threw to our secretary, brilliant secretary, really, Eugene Gallagher. We uh, approached the county, Frankie Quinn, and Frankie was very uh, much favourable and thought about it and said, yeah, okay. He says, but like, like we're Division 4, as we all know now, yeah. we're, we don't want to be. We want to be up in Division 1. And uh, he said, look, it mightn't uh, be a great game. He says, but there's something coming up. He says, if you allow me to investigate it, he says, I'll come back and I'll tell you this in time. And we said, fair enough, go ahead. And he came back a couple of weeks later and said that, how would we feel about uh, Tipperary All Ireland Champions uh, coming to play on them? Well, to be honest, when you're fellow this year, we uh, uh, couldn't believe it. But we had to keep it very confidential mm -hmm. between myself and, and Eugene. And we weren't allowed to breathe a word of it until it was confirmed. So there's a lot of work done by the like of Frankie and I'm sure Kieran, the county chairman, and Tipperary Board and uh, agreeing to this and we obviously um, had to ensure that there would be um, a good crowd and safety in this so Jerry McClory who would be involved in a lot of the safety issues involved in Antrim um, came along and we spoke with the city council Frankie got somebody from the city council to come up walk around the place to gauge it for a crowd mm -hmm. and we were amazed that this place could probably take a conservative estimate of around 3,400 and in truth we're one of the few clubs in the county with a covered stand yeah so I mean that was put to us that you know we could do this so we were, we were delighted and we took on board uh, selling the tickets and that has been really solely down to Eugene Gallagher who has uh, sat here for many hours and gone to the county committee meetings and 
put the tickets about and we are expecting a crowd of around about 3,000. 